And now, a word about versions. This tutorial is going to be taught to Crystal Reports 11 Release 2, also referred to as Crystal XI Release 2, depending on who you talk to. If you want an earlier version of Crystal, this is going to be a little more difficult, but not impossible. It will require a little more legwork on your part, but the difference between the versions are not that radical. I am referring to Crystal's versions 8.5 to 11. The principles, strategies, and basic functions of Crystal Reports covered in this beginner level course are fundamentally the same from version to version. Of course, there may be some missing functionality and some bugs that you may come across in earlier versions, not to mention the menus and features being rearranged. The farther from Crystal 11, the more things have changed, been moved, or have been added. The one downside is you will not be able to open the sample reports and exercises, but you can create on your own using whatever version you have installed in your PC. The upside is you'll get more practice. For example, the database expert. This has changed little since Crystal 8. The ability to connect to the data source and join tables and define the joins to pull exactly the data set you need is roughly the same. As you can see, my database expert and all versions have something in common. They have the ability to connect to a data source. pull in tables and fields, link data. This is a fundamental function of Crystal, and again, has not changed that much if you're on Crystal version 8.5, on 9, on 10, or Crystal 11, release 1. The principles remain the same. You pull in the tables you need, you join them based on the relationships, and from there, you pull the data onto the report. Another example is the select expert. In all versions, you can still pull in the fields, you need and adjust what filters you are choosing. This has not changed from version to version. For example, I can filter on specific IDs anytime I see fit. It's the same whether you're on Crystal 8.5 or Crystal 11. Again, it'll be a little more work if you're on an earlier version, but the principles remain the same. One final example would be the ability to format. This has changed very little. There's a few extra whistles and bells if you're on the latest version. But you still have the ability to choose borders, choose your font, make it italic, bold or bold italic. You can choose the size. You can even choose the color. You can even add your effects. In fact, you can even adjust the spacing. You can even turn it into a hyperlink. Again, the basic fundamentals of this program, again, while it may have a fancier interface in Crystal 11 release 2, then let's say Crystal 8.5, it still is fundamentally the same. Ideally, Crystal 11 would be the version to have, but this course has plenty to offer if you have a previous version down to Crystal 8.5. Just be prepared to dedicate more time and effort.